Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. One of my viewers or subscribers sent me this file. Then act, they actually sent me a video on how to do this. This only works in the newest version of Corel Draw, which is 2023, that has the variable outline tool, which is this symbol right here. And it's I'm just going to call it what he called it, a fancy curve arrow. So we're just going to take a two-point line. Doesn't matter how you do it, where you do it. And we're going to go up and make it 12 points. I'm going to hit F12 on the keyboard. I'm going to make it have round end caps and scale with object. Then I'm going to get the variable outline tool and I'm going to click right there. And then at this time, you could actually, you know, make one line uh, thinner, thicker. You could actually change it up here. And basically, that's the line. But uh, you could actually change quite a bit uh, with this tool. I haven't used it that much. I'm thinking my end caps are kind of causing it to look like a baseball bat at this case. Um Anyway, you can make it quite a bit thicker on one end than the other. Then, just take it, well, we need to select it all with this uh, shape tool, and then right-click and turn it into a curve. Then take the pick tool and grab that line and add an arrow to it. Now, at this time, we can actually make that arrow smaller and even smaller still. But because it's a curve, we can do this with it. And anything you want. Because it's a line, you right click and make it a color. Um, I don't know if the interactive fill tool will work on just a line, but we'll try it. And it does not. So we will have to take this and turn this into an object, and then the interactive fill tool will work. And you could do anything you want to from here and add different colors to your fancy arrow. Uh, this is pretty cool. I draw a lot of arrows, especially when I'm just trying to help somebody uh, figure something out, but you could also uh, add more things to it and have dotted lines. You know, what if we did Trying to find one that has pretty big dots. Well, I've already turned it into an outline. So let's just do it real quick another way. Let's go ahead and make it 12 points. F12. You can click down here, but I just get so used to hitting F12 on the keyboard. And round end caps. And scale with objects pretty important on this because once you draw it, um, you want to you wanna be able to change it. Let's make it like that this time. Let's grab the shape tool, right click and turn it into a curve. Let's take the pick tool and add a arrow to it. And that looks, that doesn't look too bad. I, I'm guess I don't get to play around with the, cause this is kind of new in the variable outline tool. Um, I don't think you can do it now that it's a curve, but at this time you could make it a dotted line and move it around. And because it's a curve, you could still curve this dotted line. And when, what I said earlier about, I don't like the way the arrow is getting so big. Um, oh, look at that. That looks pretty cool. Uh, Cause we changed the, the size of the point. It changed the uh, ripple effect that looks pretty cool. It looks like a, almost like a snake's tail. But there's a lot you can do with it. So I thank that viewer or subscriber for giving me that little bit. Because I draw an arrow a lot of times uh, just to point out something. And you can show, you know, like what he did here. For me, he sent this to me. This is his file that you can fancy curved arrow in 2023 and using the variable outline tool. 
Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.